But here we go. We do have Phoenixes coming in. Going to start picking off these probes. Harassing that mineral line. Noob's going to pull back all of his stalkers. to try to kill him. But as he does that, he actually pushes out with his zealots. And he did have a round of warping, of warping zealots here. Going to pick that up. But Gray has sent his main army to attack. These stalkers are probably going to get cleaned up by these zealots. Being picked up, picked off by the phoenixes. These stalkers sentries are going to be attacking this neck. Just probably take it down. Some sentries just got warped in from a uh, noob. But also, as you can see here, he has his zealots just moving right into Gray's base. No, I do actually like this because as he attacks, he's going to be forced either to go into a base race or he's going to be forced to pull his army back. Which you see probes running away for their lives as the zealots move in. Some stalkers got warped in, but these zealots are going to take him out. And he does pull his phoenixes back. These probes are actually going to the min uh, gold mineral base. Probably going to set up a base there, maybe. I don't know. But there was a force field here to block off anything in Gray's army is in the back. Moving into Noob's base. Here we have Zealots trying to do as much damage as possible. But with these Phoenixes, all they have to do is lift up the Zealots. And then all these other Phoenixes can attack them. Easily kill them because they are light. And there we go. We do have a uh, Nexus going down for Gray at the goal. And I don't think Noob knows about this. Um, actually, I think right now he's in too much trouble to even, know to, to even be prepared for an Expo. If he had, he snuck it right by that proxy pylon. That pylon is not going to be able to see up there. But we do have some attacks going on here from Grey Stalkers, Zealous, trying to stop noobs. All noobs, pros basically haven't killed except those that on gas. And he does have three Zealots left alive. Looks like they're trying to take down this Nexus. But these Phoenixes can't actually do anything anymore. No, they did change. They are now going for the pylon. But without energy, these Phoenixes are kind of boned. There's one lift off, and that is all he has for right now. We do have a sentry and a, a stalker down here for uh, Gray, kind of doing a very, very small contain against Noob. Sentry's going to pull back, so is the stalker. But he does actually have the nexus of his of the gold base up and running. All he has to do is take these probes and start mining. He's going to have a fresh source of income. The Phoenix is finally able to clear out the Zealots from his base. They actually did massive, massive damage. All but one gateway is dead. Though his gateways are un uh, his one gateway is unpowered, all he has left really is his starport. But with this gold, he's going to get a fresh source of income and easily rock it ahead because that that gold base is worth at least one and a half bases of normal blue minerals because you do get seven per trip from one of those patches. But here we go. We do see the phoenix is coming in. Probably yep, pick, going in, lifting up, picking off the probes, doing what harassment they can. But that gravitational beam. Gravitation, yeah, gravitation beam does require 50 energy to even use. And because of this, he can only do it so many times, especially on this low number of things. So he does pick up one zealot and does kill it as the rest of these zealots are running towards Gray's base. And there's a pylon going on to repower this gateway. But like I said, with this uh, gold base right here, Gray is easily. A cybercore going out. He's easily going to get uh, able to reinforce, get more buildings up if Noob doesn't spot this. And then we see these four zealots, two picking off a pylon, two going right after that nexus. Well, I'm pretty sure Gray has abandoned this base altogether, except for maybe this one warp gate so we can get some more units. And there's the phoenixes coming and lifting off one zealot. Can they do it? Will they lift off another? They lift off another and it gets picked off no problem. Another one gets lift off and killed. And finally, the last one gets picked up and killed. How embarrassing. At least with those Ellis, you know, melee ground fighters being picked up by air units and just straight up dying to them. But it is because Phoenixes do have two attacks and do do 10 damage. Yes, 10 damage against light units. Even at a speed of, uh, uh, was it 1.1 seconds? So that is actually really quick. For uh, Phoenixes, that's why they do so good against Colossus. Mass Phoenix versus uh, Colossus. Mass Phoenix are going to win. And here he comes in, going to come in, try to do some more harassment to the mineral line. But he Noob does have some stalkers come in, trying to pick off these Phoenixes, stop them from doing any sort of damage possible. But we do have a Void Ray coming 
oh, out of this uh, Stargate from Gray as well. His gateways are up and running at his gold. Three more already in Warp Gate because he did get that previously. But he does have a lot of Chrono Boost on his Nexus. Not really using it, which is kind of odd. He also... Why? That is because he's using it from this base. And there he is, putting his guys on gas first. Just so he can get enough gas to support the units coming in. Bunch of Stalkers moving into Gray's base. Trying to do another counter-attack. But, with these Zealot, Stalker, and one Sentry, Void Ray, and Phoenixes. The, these are probably going to attack. Yep, there they go. They're going to attack into Noob's base. Oh, prob maybe take them out, maybe not. But... Phoenix and the Phoenix and Cordray have returned from their little getaway. They were probably going to go back to this base. But there are the Stalkers just picking. Well, some attacking the gateway. Some attacking the Assimilator. They probably should be attacking the gate or uh, the Stargate more than anything else. But we do have over here these Phoenix and Void Ray again and uh, Zealous Sentry Stalkers and all that just wrecking havoc among this noob's base. He's pulled probes off the line. These probes are going to freaking die. Just because there's just too many years. There's a force field. I don't know why there's a force field put there, but there was. And with that, he has no more workers. There is nothing on the production tab. Gateways are dying left and right. One stalker is coming out. This do kind of probably a, and a zealot. This probably do like some final defense. But there's going to be absolutely nothing that they can do against this. Though the stalkers have actually returned from Gray's base. Try to help in this in this defense. Phoenixes are being targeted and there's three liftoffs four liftoff five liftoff the rest are just going to be targeting stalkers killing them out and void ray fully charged just decimates stalkers then we do see zealots from gray coming in this gateway is unpowered this way gateway is probably going to die there's really nothing left new can do and there's the gg from new gray just kind of laughs says he has the gold to let him know that that's how he had the income and with that, the game is basically over. Just probably do some minor chatting. Noob hasn't left the game yet. But he most certainly will. Once all of his base and all of his buildings are destroyed. Makes a final comment and then leaves the game. Alright, well, thank you guys for tuning in to the Collective StarCraft YouTube channel. This here is Chaku signing out. And because of that, I will see you guys on the battlefield.